taken, but look how many players are still here tucked in the back corners. These are angles that you have to clear on the way through. And if not, stuff like that's gonna happen. Kushin are already on two in the third. The nade forcing Zipan out of position. Artis and Sagetsu left with it all to recover. And Artis does well to find the first, but the utility blocking him off. The shot's coming his way, and the defuse already happening under their nose. There is no way to deny this. The round is truly in BBL's hands. Combobulated on the way through. Flash, wingman at first to try and leave some more extra information. Good kills, Angel Ooh. on another. And with Xiao backing him up, this is looking clean. They pushed into a three-man site with Viper Utility backing it up. And they made it look easy. Oh, hey, maybe they're giving Angel the rifle because he's the one who's actually going to be fragging. We saw Boo just <laughs> literally yesterday and been clearly on the aim labs for the entirety of the offseason. Lil Bro going to be sacrificed. Elite is the last man standing, stuck in a corner. Still a nice shot onto Angel. His armor online, the stun, it hasn't connected. It's been avoided completely, but it is going to be Elite able to get betrayed. A dry peek into Pora, that's not something I'd like to do. <laughs> Still got that crisp aim to give them the advantage. A little bit of a risk taken by Na'Vi and Angel. And well, He was actually the one with his ultimate online, so he actually had something that easily could have cleared that angle. And with him out of the out of the running, we've ended up pretty neck and neck, but the map control is the real problem. BBL blocked out. Oh, they are able to delay that plant a little bit. That's allowing some reinforcements, some damage done onto Zipan. This is starting to look a, a little better than before. BBL have at least got some control. That nade, though, will it push them out? It kind of pushes them, splits them, but no real after effect for it. Zipan flashed as he tries to use his ultimate, but oh, oh no! no! He's missed the shot! The hitbox a little wider than he thought. Artist now has to clutch it all. The one versus two. The defuse just about to be tapped. He's in the corner. They suspect it's safe gap though. He's inside the molly and they have no idea. The spray through the smoke and he hasn't got enough time. Two things that could potentially pad the gap here. And you can see he's already going to be challenged. Saiketsu basically just walks up. Normally when you see this nice. from a Viper, he's got his wall up. He's trying to be a little bit sneaky. That wasn't sneaky at all. That was brute force from Saiketsu. Well, the rest of... Yeah, we're going to be looking to try and find their way nice. back in. The fact is they haven't had to use any utility, and now another goes down just to a Molotov. This is looking rough, and in fact, well, one by one by one, we're witnessing every single member of BBL fall. Blink Thunder. Solid Molly keeps back any reinforcements. Reezy has a tough task on hand. Zip and swing it around to blind side. And a shot through the smoke from Angel. That was a wild spam that just took down Elite. So you're missing so much utility. That was their Viper wall to potentially allow them back through and cut off these attackers. Now, Navi have their pick of post plants with an orbital strike. There's no real worry. And with only one rifle in hand, it's Kushiner X who has to do all the heavy lifting. He's done well on the first. Ooh, and Sagetsu's careful. tag. They need to be careful indeed. A weapon to be retrieved for Pora, but the time too low. And with Kushiner down. This one's starting to feel like it's done, especially with the orbital strike bank. You know this round is not going your way. Ooh. Question mark? It can't be one, but he can do a lot of damage. This is such so a ridiculous much. few shots from Pora. It's been looking good. Damage in the previous round was fantastic. Zip band sniped out of the sky. And too quickly for any trades to follow through. Brave does well to drop artists. He can be recovered, but they've got to get out to the body. They've got to clear all these defender bodies in the way. Rolling Thunder still cashed in online. Not needed. Sagetsu is down and out on 45 HP. Nice kill by Pora. That's Artis down. He stood inside of a Molly and a Snake Bite just to get that done. Evading death, 34 HP. He'll just about be able to keep himself alive for a future combat. They're watching for a flank left. right now. But with the Viper's pit down, there's no need for BBL to go on flanks. They've got a pretty much on lock. They've left bathroom open. That's certainly going to be a worry in the next couple seconds. But it doesn't look like Navi have any intention of going elsewhere. They've got so little time. Look how many people are on the site. Four sat here waiting. This looks like it should be impossible. The spike is being planted. Little bro giving it a go, but now they have completely run out of time. I imagine it's going to get shot or almost immediately, and it doesn't matter. Kushin is going to land it anyway. An instant TP, but a trade out, and Elite's going to land the shot as well. Zipan, two out of two of those ults have not gone his way so far. Struggling when it comes to the showstopper, but Sagetsu is making sure that BBL struggle with side control. Plant still not down. 
17 seconds left, but it doesn't look like there's any further contestion with Spike Brave down. Planted. Smokes are out of the question. It's going to cause problems. Pora, only one flash to play with. Breezy already burned up his, but Pora's put it to a 2v2. A fantastic kill for this man. So he can now buy them a little bit more space to cross That's over. And he spotted both players, but that information came with a very heavy cost. The price tag more than they were willing to pay with Reezy now having to try a defuse under the nose of two players. This just isn't looking good. Xiao still has a molly, but a post plant is not needed. Not with time this low. Instead, they will face it. Well, <laughs> that was a moment. They almost wish they had that molly line. has <laughs> been made, and a player was spotted, but the shot lands on top of the box. Nappy have got a, got a team kill under their belt. This time it wasn't Zipan going down, it was Angel, but look, it seems recoverable somewhat. Just two players left. Damage across the board, though. BBL making it insanely competitive. And with Xiao just one hit to this Sheriff. It's now insanely close. Rolling yes. thunder for Pora. He's on his way to the B site. He knows that TP was pulled in just moments ago. Does he sprint in? Once he hears Spike it's planted, planted, that ult might come into play. But no. And with the snake bite keeping him out, it's a good thing too. He's just 65 HP. Can't Don't afford to lose Don't too much. Dare. There's the peak and the shot Ooh. from Pora. By Elite might even fade back into the smoke with the utility in play, but Kushner's not going anywhere. What is that from Elite? So much damage done, and they're not aware of Kushner. He's coming around the back, taking every fight, and with Sagetsu low, 70 HP, oh! surely not. It comes down to a fraction of a health bar. We'll see if they've got what it takes to keep this game alive. Yeah, this tournament format doesn't really give you much time to warm up, though. No. You, 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 two matches, you're out two matches during the playoffs, unless you're Fnatic, in which case it can be one. Either way. It's already looking pretty bleak. Pistol round in a good spot. Plenty of utility to try and deal with this. Wingman gonna try and get anything, but uh, he's not surviving that one. And now getting anyone onto this spike is gonna be imperative. Running out of time to do anything, and now it's left all onto Artist. He's back on the block, but he's got to figure out where Brave is. Knows it now, but the time is ticking. The time is gone. He needs this kill immediately, and it is not happening. Another round on the board. Brave will seal it. Position you, you might not expect. They've just taken the site, remember? They're clearing oh, it, but only checked. half. And now there's a rifle on the floor. They weren't going together either, remember? We didn't just see Zipan here. Earlier on, Artis was by his side, but having split up, he'll now make his way through long. A flash close for Angel, but this player's closer than he expects. Luckily, Brave has dropped. Navi still alive in this round, still breathing with an orbital strike, eliminating Elite. No more Viper utility. Post plants now get a little Last bit easier as BBL are left with just Pora. They know where he is. He's already got a kill and the sprays. Now they've got another angle to fight from. This makes it much more difficult for Navi to support each other. They don't need it. Sagetsu's going off on site. A quick double and a real chance for Navi now as they can just uh -oh. slow it down, pop their utility, and make it so uncomfortable for BBL, forcing them into individual duels that they are not winning at least they weren't elite has stepped up to the plate but three more hostiles to eliminate well, he's actually gonna stay in. just needing to get that plant down they've been struggling to do that for the past minute but eventually they found it finally Xiao can make his rotation after waiting patiently for a player to head through the TP Artis hoping to Find someone with a pre-fire, but that clock's starting to tick. They need to get a move on. Kushner just can't quite land the shot. And now Elite with everything left to do. He's been great so far, but this would have to be the best of the bunch. Where they are. And grab none of them. Oh, that's a little awkward. Nice shot by Kushner as well. And oh, now it's getting okay. scary. Elite was by his side. The trades are going the way of the attackers. And Artist does well to at least pull it back to reality. 11 HP on Kushner, but a rifle retrieved for Elite. And he's had some really nice rounds so far. The spike's in a horrible, horrible. Mm -hmm spot like just, just getting left. that out of this corner is not going to be easy whatsoever but you're basically going to have to push into the rifles and i don't really see how they're going to be able to get that back without basically eliminating everybody and it just isn't going to be happening <laughs> that's, that's what i love about it nice shot by zip and he might not have the util hey. down hey. Hey. there's a showstopper Woo. with a kill and it wasn't himself that's a good one no, third but time's the charm that's what they say <laughs> It got there in the end. It's one of the weakest ults in the game. Don't worry about it. Nice flash by Angel and a kill to follow up. Okay, Navi certainly have the reins now with BBL falling to pieces. Pora and Elite left to pick those up.
And what a task that is. Great flash coming out of Aridus from the site. Delay. It's try and burn that clock down as much as possible. He's 100% dead, not even realizing that they've wrapped around behind him now. You see that orbital strike go through. Another few seconds burn off that clock, but they Ollie? still have more to do. Already, Xiao is going to get himself onto the spike. He Ollie, is going nice. to go down. I don't even know if he did get it to half. That's the only saving grace. There's a small opportunity, but they it's have to get the somebody on it right now, and it isn't oh, going to be happening. Oh They're going to take it just on the post plants alone. Yeah, this is a huge gap. They don't have anyone there. Luckily, when you have a breach entry frag like Pora, I guess it doesn't matter too much. Winning the aim duel again versus Saigetsu. And they are going to get this site now for free. A quick TP through with the majority of players spotted. Smoke off into Hookah and a little bit of a lurk being left behind from Angel. But they now use that final ult of the collection to get themselves into a strong after oh. blast. Ooh, the counter flash is not in time. A nice try by Artis. I think there's nothing else he really could have done there. With Brave oh falling. Could be something to report home about, but it's the, the problem is right here and now. Thrash goes in. Okay, you've got Kushner, but this player's close, ready to defend. Oh, they got baited work. in. A player sees, but the rest of the team ready to fight. Xiao's got no chance. Four chances to close this out. They've made their decisions, and the decision is to move towards A, taking down one on the way in. It's Zipan, a big player for the side in AV. Quite quickly, Angel's trying to get on their back, cause them problems, and make them push further forward into the defensive setup in play from Xiao. He's got some support up top. Artist primed with a flash to go through the smoke, but not really able to get much done with Orbital Strike online for Bra Brave. Post plant now is possible. It, Down yeah. goes Angel. It's Xiao and Sagetsu to do it all. Viper's Pit. Maybe if they can get close enough, they can find something. But he's stuck up in heaven and he's being watched on the way out. They want to take these fights. The second that they get contact on Reezy, the swing will come through. And I don't see a way that this goes towards Navi. The time already ticking so far. Bray still has Orbital Strike and it might not be used. It certainly won't be needed. That time ticking away as Sagetsu blitzes in. The orbital strike won't even touch the ground. Well, the trapwire is going to catch one and a few wall bangs coming through. A wall bang to start this one out. Another potentially. Sagetsu is so after my damage. heart already. It's looking good with Navi. Already five versus three, damage done to Brave, and a completely shut out attacking side. I, they are just stuck here on the side of BBL, attempting to make their way anywhere, just isolated in the laneway. At, at this point, it almost gets to a position where BBL just have to die. Just go in to make sure that you get the extra finances. A nice couple of shots, but there's Ardis once again. Those traps are in the laneway as they make their way through. They'll be able to catch them, but... Nobody there to spam back. Angel good on the Kushner at least. That's something to work with. Yeah, I believe one of his trips is to just catch somebody in the Boathouse. air. Yeah, it is. It's, oh, it's, it's, oh, it's, it's literally wow. above to catch the jet. It's a filthy idea. It hasn't worked out this time. They've also got the information, but it's going to be that spam back of the ultimate. Nice work from Reezy to make things a little bit more costly of all. Oh, oh. He tried to finish his dinner from earlier on. Now it's left on to Xiao, but it's Reezy to shut sure on. Saigetsu's here, but all of his trips are on the other side of the map. Xiao looking to try and support him. A little bit of surprise in the corner, but it's not going to do much. A singular kill, and then the trades are quick from BBL. A couple of players already hit. The operator of Artist, the first to take the pick, and he's going to land the shot. But do they know there's a second player? I don't know if they've seen Kushin still within this corner. This is a nasty spot. They might even expect him to just be underneath, but he might not be needed whatsoever. Eventually, he's there to drop the man that is Artist, and now Angel. A late lurk coming back through. He's going to give away his position with this dart. Just trying to find those couple of players. He knows that one of them, maybe even both, are going to be in that corner. The question is, can he find anything from it? It's going to be difficult from this position already. A move coming out from Kushino just to switch his position back in towards the corner. He still has absolutely no idea and the time is gone. There's nothing he can do at this stage to find anything. They're just looking to get out of there. Angel's looking to try and make it costly, and he will go down with the ship. <laughs> a valiant attempt with the shock dart. Sight we're worried about. Hunter's Fury popped off for one. Close to getting the second, but Brave just about sidesteps. Xiao, though, is here ready and waiting. That paranoia has caught all of them. They're blinded up. The drop comes in. Angel's only good for one. The blinded faded, but zip back. Oh, they have still a lot of map control, managing to hold a little bit more. Passively, these crossfires are just being, well, deadly for the side of Na'Vi and just, it's, it's disrespectful to a point, but if they can't stop you, why would you change it?
And that's the thing, Na'Vi have had absolutely nothing in response. They haven't been able to lay. Even with the smoke, he still just went straight through it. And now Kushner's starting to come alive. He was quiet in the early rounds. Xiao, though, has somehow managed to make this one competitive. They already know exactly where both of these players are. They know that one of them is still in the back lines, one under the site, hiding within the smoke. But again, this clock is ticking. They have to get someone oh! to the spike. And Kushina just isn't missing. Most of the MEA will have expected from them. A victory still evading them, the double peak, but it's being double held. This is one of the first times they've actually walked into the higher of the stack sites. Uh, Na'Vi have not been winning when it comes to the roulette wheel. They've been spinning each round. Or oh, will be taken. That's going to give the null command available for Pora, but there are still three players sat left. within this site, ready and waiting. Brave, yeah, by name and nature, tried to TP through the smoke, and finally, Na'Vi, after what has been one round from six, this is going to take a lot of damage. He's going to go over the top, and <laughs> he's just one-tapped. Just get finished off by Reezy. He's been oh. having a great game. Already a second in this pistol round, trying to deal with him as Zipan, and he will succeed. Pora finds one with the fragment. Gives Elite a little bit of chance. He needs to try and hold on as long as possible. His teammates are very far away and Xiao's right on him. <laughs> I, I wonder for how many seconds was he just screaming, smoke me, smoke me, smoke me, smoke me, but it didn't come in in time. And Sagetsu's even pulled it back on a poor, just brave left. He already used his smoke. Spike planted. It's not blocking off an angle that's terribly helpful. They've got the crossfire potentially, the swing afterwards. Now Lead and Reezy only have to delay this a couple more seconds as they're on their way through. Okay. Easy said the done. Uh, both players get <laughs> dropped. Yeah, the wide swing's not working. Ten, Ten seconds, seconds left, left, but the spike is now going to be planted. planted. Damage done. Look at how One low these players on Navi are. That was the only full health player that's been taken down. Angels on four, Zipan's on 12, and Sagetsu's got 56. The problem is they've only got Pora to deal with a gun from behind. To take him out easily, and I think that market peak is gonna come through. No, it's very passive from Zipan. Because he's so low, they want to run this time down. Oh, it mind. could have went. <laughs> Kushiner's arriving on the scene, but with an off behind the smoke, it, it's not ideal. It's not a fight most people would want to take, so he pulls out the classic? Question mark? Instead, Reezy's the one to find a kill, but he's got some trouble coming his way. They know exactly where he is. Full HP, good flash, but not a good delivery afterwards. Reezy, some more work Last to be done. He only finds the one, making it a very beat. tough play for Braven. To be fair, his second kill, Reezy, he still did Got well here. all in all. But with Braven a 1v3, Zipan's low HP might not matter too much. Sent through to try and give a little bit of extra space, but it hasn't actually helped too much. And Kushina still within the back of the site. There comes that Hunter's Fury to try and make these fights a little bit more winnable. And it's oh. gonna connect as well, it's a team kill! Oh, that's such a huge mistake. It's cleared the site. He's accidentally cleared the site for Na'Vi. That was the one player they had to clear. Oh, that is heartbreaking for BBL. It looked like the Hunter's Fury could be a saving grace. And instead, I, I think it might be the close. Oh, that is awful. Yeah, thankfully. Close as elite. Nice shot. Flashes in. It, it slowed him down, but he's able to peek right back out. No one can deal with Reezy. Okay, never mind. <laughs> he's out of the game. Kushner and Pora. One enemy remaining. Well, Kushner's certainly not having a good time. Sagetsu is still mid, and they're going A. Well, what a fake out of the side of Navi. More so left. just an adjustment that's made late in the round. It, it, it is a little scary with Xiao being semi isolated, but Sagetsu's got the him. right angle. Oh, oh, no, 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 <laughs> what? what? Already the challenge as Ardis is on one HP. The wall did decay him slightly, but 12 isn't much more. Still manages to find two, but okay. Kushiner says anything you can do, I can do better. He's already put them into a man advantage. That doesn't last too long, as you can see. Yeah, that's the thing. I, I feel like when it comes to pistol rounds, Saigetsu is the danger man. He's, he's the one you have to watch out for. Well, they are watching out for him, but Kush are uh, not quite able to take him down early. Oh, He's going to get another bite of the cherry, and it doesn't work out. So I get to winning that one. Now they know exactly where Brave is, isolated to the back of the corner. The thing is, he can isolate these jewels himself, take them 1v1, but look at the way Navi are playing it. They are waiting to try and pick this one together, and eventually, there you go. So I get to get over the line. Who's surprised? Still got another shock dart to work with. Snakebite on its way. That's where you combo. It's a little late on the land. Pora out wide on his low HP, and he'll be caught through the wall. Kushin are in the same boat, 22 health, but he's got a nice pyramid to play behind. Elite's gonna be tagged up too. Artis round the side with a quick kill, and the wall's blocking off Reezy, who's now all alone. 
It's gonna shock Dark, but he's been revealed in the corner, and they are staring at him, the firing squad. Oh, come on. Hunter's Fury oh, good. is gonna connect. The thing is, Pora goes down, but obviously he can just be... Oh no, wait, did it? Did his knock come up run out the second that second pulse hit? That is cursed. He actually dies to that. It looked like he was gonna obviously just be res, so it isn't even that much of a risk. Now, Artis going through. I assume he has a shorty in his pocket, or he's about to just try and TP away from there. Kind of stuck in the mud. No, he's gonna go for it. Hits the shot, but still as an operator. This is not the weapon you want to have in this corner. His teammate slowly looking to try and round the corner. Even caught off by his own utility. It's so good, but they're winning every single fight. And now Brave last man standing. This round again, it's just one hero rifle. Uh, no hero rifles. Well. They got an op now. They've picked up an op, so it's a worthwhile trade. Spike planted. BBL with a serious chance, and okay. they're hitting sheriff exactly shots. Instead of the rifle, instead of your... Who needs them? Your operator, yeah. Just just go on in, tap the heads, and a completely different sense of this game. Uh, in this in this round, rather. Compared to what we've seen so far, Navi shut down, and they'll no doubt want to reset into the next. Now, oh, they could try to fight for this with all the credits they've got. It's not like rifles get saved is a huge benefit, but it's starting to look like it might be too far gone. That time ticking Reezy, having remaining. his Hunter's Fury, but he's on side, he's being pressured, and the Sheriff <laughs> might survive, but he's on low HP, and they didn't expect that wraparound. Kushin are the ones to take the space, getting in to the back left. of the site, but Artis has shut him down. Viper's Pit, definitely gonna make things a little bit more awkward, and with Elite planted. stepping up, and now just leaves two men standing. Now, as you mentioned, the finances of Na'Vi. What? The shots and the shot from Artis. Well, I think that's just a parting gift, because I don't think there's any way they get back into this one. Although saying that, a, a paranoia has just been used from Angel. He still wants to try and make this costly. Okay. Elite, though, is just not missing a beat. Okay, no panic, no worries. It, it's down to damage, really. They've spotted Artis. He might just get out of here. He, he might... Can't use that. He might just get out of here. No, nope. but now they're surrounding him. Now they're fighting. I, I don't think there's a choice anymore. All right. We're in the same spot. Good for delaying, although it's actually a little bit of a whiff for Saigetsu. Doesn't happen very often. Still, though, so many members of this squad are here. Zipan, as you said, the silent hero, and an attempt to trade things back, but it's left all onto Brave. One versus three. I think he just got spotted as well. He did, lands the first, but no more to be had. Teammates, he's got the angle. Portal closed. He's chosen the wrong direction. In fact, both players now backs turn to each other. They have no idea. And Artis turns at the right moment. Catches Kushiner. Takes him down. Now uses the ult to grab more information. With Pora shut down, there's not much else yeah. to be said because they've spotted Brave and the flank coming around now from. Oh, 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 oh. Never mind. Never mind. There's no flank needed. Oh, it's my. all just zip back. Ready again. A couple of players to the back of sight. Zipan knows roughly where they are, but not really finding too much value with it. And in the meantime, Pora has managed to collect the double kill. It's left on to Zipan. As I said, he's been a hero throughout this game so far, but to win this one would need an absolute miracle. The time already gone. It's only going to be to pad the stats a little bit, and instead Pora will awaken from his slumber. He'll catch something with the knife, but oh, he's so close to just taking out the drogue completely. Instead, it will be Kushner to go down. He was the man to find kills in the previous pistol, even without the win. Reezy, though, has done well to at least do a little bit of extra damage. Shock Dart is actually going to tank Zipan down to low HP while he plants, but he's going to move himself back to give them a slightly more open plant, especially if Saigetsu's going to late lurk through. They have no idea about Xiao, but they've closed the door just in case. Unfortunately, power ha has gone down. And good night, Xiao. Surely, no, he's dancing around, dodging the bullets as he goes. Snake by blocks him in. He's trapped now, forced into a fight with Brave. As on the site, Elite swings wide. <gasps> Xiao holding on for dear life, but Brave will win it. Through the wall goes Reezy, and down he falls. Navi keeping things nice and even, which is exactly what they want. The right clicks are not nice, but it gets there in the end, thanks to Elite. Stepping in to help out. Here comes Zipan. <laughs> the shots are not landing to start with, but they do in the end. Without a doubt, we can say Navi have come out of this looking slightly better. That was a whiffy start from Kushner. And in the end, he's traded out by Xiao. Numbers thinning out on that defensive side. And, well, Pora this better be able a, to show up here. Yeah, this is a real gamble of an angle. So like, it's it definitely an off angle. 
It's just whether or not... Luckily for him, the second one. player is low, so there's actually a pretty good Spike chance that he holds on to this, but the fact he's able to fade away through that poison orb is good. Paranoia will put him in an awkward position, and they are just picking Last Navi apart, stage. leaving only Angel left. left. Again, this comes down to just damage. Looking like it'll be nice and clean for BBL at least, but if he can take down one or two players, maybe this makes the buy in the next round a little bit more tentative. He's gonna make his presence fairly well known for his teammates, and actually, Paranoia used to help him out. It's a freebie, a one and done, but that's absolutely fine. The rest of the team now garnering that extra space. Still two players here for the side of BBL, and the rest rotating in. Can't really do anything to deny this plant at least yet, but they're quick to go for the retake. Oh yeah, already primed and ready once that wall went down. Stepping their way back towards the site. A good opening by Kushner. The ult used as well by Elite. Neural Theft grabbing them all the information. And Sagetsu now stands alone. One versus three. Swinging out wide to deny the defuse, but not today. Yoru is setting up. And we're about to see the space taken on the site. The flash is was perfect. On the dot. And the site is now fallen. All because of that. Viper's Wall about to fall. <laughs> and as so they good. look to catch the players, still rotating in. Artis is around the back of sight, picking heads for days. This one, eh, there were weaknesses, that's for sure. But once Artis has a rifle in his hand, it's never over. Sagetsu and Angel have theirs. Shao's recovered. And the time just seems to be too low already to root out these players across fire on back sight. Pora tagged down so standing. desperately low, and Reezy doesn't last a second in that duel. Very well done by Navi. And he also has more kills than the bottom three players of his team. Just hit on his own. Yeah. Angel has gone out of the smoke with the spike. Now that right there, folks, that right there is an Angel round. They always win these. That's the worst part about it. I hate it. <laughs> I, I hate that it's always true, but somehow they do. A Kushner, end it. End it here, please. Stop Navi from winning this one. Buy us another round. Good shot to start this one out. Still a player on the ground they want to bring back, but that's not going to happen. Not today. Xiao with another as Poor eventually falls. And so Kushner, Breezy, and Elite. Three versus two. In fact, just one. It's Artis. Needs all three. Has his ult online. He can reposition, reset into this one. And oh, he's down to the classic. It comes so close. Space being taken. This time. The ult's complete, uh, the spike even is completely on the ground. Exactly and the man who is up mid is the only one who can go and retrieve it. And he got past the cam. They were watching the cam for that exact reason. I mentioned it the other round, but this time he just TPs across, Who's realizes next? the gap in their play with Pora down as well. Navi are miles in the lead with a plant coming in on A, pressure on B. BBL don't know what the hell is going on. They don't know where to go. And in fact, Artis is not letting them go anywhere. He was sticking around, just harassing them, keeping them in position as eventually the plant comes down. It is a 5v3, Viper's Pit online, and unlikely to even be used, certainly to even be needed with Artis in his off position, but he's being dropped now. Maybe they start to think about the Viper's Pit, about even putting down their wall from Viper, just using any of her utility. There's a snake bite at least, that's something. But the round seems locked in. It could always okay. slip out of their grasp, though. Brave goes down, Elite quick on the trade. There's the Viper's Pit. Finally, a sense of desperation on Navi as they just want to end the series here. And the time ticking so low with the pit in play. No snake bite, though, thanks to it being used earlier, and it will not be needed. Simbad closes this one out, the silent hero.